Hey everybody, uh, Joshua here. Um, I've been hard at work the last couple of months on my 3D printer's Z-axis, and I must say I think I'm finally happy with it. Uh, so this is it, lo and behold. Um, the way this works is that it's got three motors, which is kind of an overkill, but what I love about it is that you can do auto tramming, uh, which means bed leveling be gone. That will be a problem that you'll never have again because it does it automatically for you. Um, the way it actually works is very similar to how my uh, old kinematic coupling on the uh, so this this guy on the actual tool changer head works um, so again what's actually happening is that this feature I've taken and I've copied it on every single bed post uh, so uh, what happens is that uh, as I move this up and down um, like like so the bed is actually free to slide along the inside of that part of the coupling uh, it works pretty darn well, I must say. Uh, as far as um, credits where credits is due, I must say I really want to thank E3D for coming up with this, um, uh, I guess, dowel pin Maxwell coupling rendition that I'm kind of borrowed and turned into shoulder screws. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Mark Rehorst actually had a great blog post on this, which I will link elsewhere, that discusses why a uh, kinematically coupled bed for a 3D printer is a really good idea. Um, one of them I'll mention, or one of the reasons, I'll mention is because your bed heats up. And when your bed heats up, it tends to expand in all directions. And what happens is that if these are fixtured down, so if I screwed these down at three different points, uh, the problem with that would be that the, uh, the bed would start to warp as it heats up because it's expanding and it has nowhere to grow. So kinematic coupling really helps here to actually let it freely expand without changing its, uh, essentially its orientation. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, right now, I mean, I guess I'll sneak over and reveal a few more things. Uh, this is done with a magnetic surface. I really like it. I think it's going to turn out really well. Um, unlike the kinematic coupling, which has uh, this little groove over here to pull down and apply a nesting force, the nesting force on this coupling is coming from three springs, which you can kind of see over here. So I'll get a little bit closer so you can actually see the coupling. Um, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, stay tuned. I will probably post a little bit more frequently at this point now that I'm starting to make some serious progress. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I will check in later.